Movie theaters across America are losing money in the face of the modern streaming age. Theaters in Austin and across America have been closing down due to financial issues. When COVID-19 hit, the whole world closed down. Moving clear, movie theaters were especially hit hard. Even as the U.S. opened back up, people were still scared to go to theaters. On top of that, the prices for movie tickets were raised to keep up for the lack of income. Instead of returning to seeing movies in theaters, many just continued to watch films released on streaming services. Not only are streaming services releasing movies at a much faster rate, but films from theaters are also making their way onto the services a short while after. Production companies can just put their movies in theaters in order to be eligible for an Academy Award nomination. Many selling or creating streaming services for their own films after release. Tickets in theaters directly take a percentage for the makers of the movie and a percentage for the theater, while any views on streaming services go directly to the platform the movie is on. So seeing it in theaters gets the movie back to the origin of the film. I think it's a lot easier with some aspects, just with marketing, and in some ways, like, there's some social medias and some just outlets that can give people more of a uh, out there and more of a head start and in other ways you can't really get on a, an actual home screen e easily without paying a ton of money. However, statistics from theaters across America actually show that moviegoers are almost back to the same attendance as in 2019, but the same statistics are not true for art house theaters. The theaters that show only large budget movies are still staying afloat, but closing down are most of the theaters that showcase smaller indie films. In Austin, the Regal Arbor 8 Theater, which showed mainly indie films, shut down a location earlier this year, citing bankruptcy. Blockbuster movies themselves are getting more expensive. With that comes a rise in ticketing prices. Smaller films don't have the same budget for marketing or the same level of spectacle of mainstream films, but they still have to compete on ticketing prices. Unfortunately, theaters that give small give spaces to smaller movies aren't able to survive easily now. Other times people want to watch a very intensive film. Uh, Mudbound was Oscar nominated. Uh, it's a great, very intensive film. And, you know, we've had over 20 million hours of viewing on Mudbound, um, which is dramatically bigger than it would have been in the theaters or any other distribution. For as long as movies have been around, the medium they're viewed under has been changing. The preference for home theaters has appeared to be easier and more cost-effective for the average person. The variety of movies is down 30%, according to Cinema Survey, with big franchises like Marvel blocking out much of the theaters with their movies during a big release, and several other movies having seemingly shorter times in theaters. So most services have a larger variety and lasting run as well. Certain movies no longer go well with the theater scene, but many aren't finding a place in streaming either, and those that do are getting buried by the algorithm. You might have to put in a little extra work, but you can find movies that are well worth your time if you go out and search for them.